This is the cool part of this industry is we get to make plays, we get to negotiate, we get to show up. Yeah, I mean, with with everything that's happened in the market and things falling out, it's all about the relationship and, and you guys sticking close to these people. Brokers, they're, they are your lifeline to the deal. And so, you know, the closer you can get with them and get them to open up with you, it's just, it, it goes to show you how far these relationships go. Love it. Many people that can underwrite it, as many people that are, are looking through and, you know, putting it through the stress test, the better. Some people may underwrite super conservatively. Some will give a little bit more you know, leniency. And um, that's the cool part is you're, you get to see it in different, I mean, it's all projections, right? So the numbers need to work, but also are we, are we in alignment? And, and this is something, you know, Sean and I are also learning is making sure that we get updated financials um, as soon as they're out, right? Even if like we're in the middle of June, and this is the cool part about asset management. You guys that are on the, the financial team of your properties, let's go ahead and start looking even mid, because usually they're printing year to date numbers, right? And so we're looking at, we're already looking at where the income is coming in, because when is rent due? Usually about the fifth, the third, whatever. Um, so income's already come in for the most part on rental income. Sometimes other income has a lag time, and then we know expenses really has a lag time. So you're not looking at the NOI June 20th, <laughs> but you're looking and doing your, your base look at, okay, we probably collected the main part of rents. And as we move forward into a deal, we're able to say, okay, here's updated numbers get even inside of cityscape and edge as soon as the 15th hits 15th hits we need updated financials because this underwriting projections it is always a moving target you can underwrite one day and you can underwrite 30 days later and you may have you know the shift happening and so i love that the more eyes and continuous constant eyes on the asset no matter what phase it's in Pre-closing, during closing, after closing, we have to keep looking at those numbers because that's going to drive our decisions.